and friends, did you know? Approximately 62% of Indonesia's territory consists of seas and waters. Therefore, the potential for energy from water power in Indonesia is quite large. Our country utilizes this water energy to produce electricity known as hydroelectric power plants or PLTA. In ancient times, water power was used to grind wheat. In the mid-1770s, Bernard Forest de Bellidor, a French engineer, published a book titled Hydraulic Architecture which contains explanations of hydraulic machines with vertical and horizontal axes. Then in the year 1878, the first hydropower plant in the world was developed by an engineer of British nationality named William George Armstrong. Let's see how a hydroelectric power plant generates electricity. Usually, the water used to produce electrical energy is obtained from dammed river water. At the bottom of the dam, water channel holes are made where the water enters the waterbed. The turbine functions to convert the kinetic energy from the movement of water into mechanical energy that can drive an electric generator. The electricity generated by the generator will be channeled to a transformer which is then forwarded to the substation. Electrical energy derived from the kinetic energy of water is called hydroelectric. Friends of MLAB, did you know that Indonesia has a lot of hydroelectric power plants and is the second largest in Southeast Asia? It is located at Serata Reservoir, West Java. Serata Reservoir covers an area of 6,200 hectares. Wow, that's huge! This hydroelectric power plant with a capacity of 1,008 megawatts has been operating since 1988. The way to obtain electrical energy is by utilizing the flow of the Sitarum River, which passes through a tunnel that is 640 meters long underground. So it can drive turbines in 8 units of the Cerata Hydroelectric Power Plant. So many! The Cerata Hydroelectric Power Plant can generate up to 1,428 gigawatt hours of electricity per year. Equivalent to the use of 428 tons of oil fuel for diesel generator units. Subsequently, electricity is distributed to the whole of Java, Madura, and Bali. Here are the advantages of the hydroelectric power plant. M-Lab's friend. It is free from harmful gases that pollute the air because this power plant uses water as its main energy source. So the air we breathe remains clean and healthy. Well, the drawback is that locations for building hydroelectric power plants are still very limited because we have to consider many things. Starting from the water flow rate, whether it fits or not, the slope, whether it is right, and whether the location is easy to access or not. If the location is far from the city, a sufficiently long electric cable installation is required. In addition, a dam is needed to store the water source. This can disrupt the food chain around the power plant. Not to mention the risk of floods and landslides. That was an introduction to hydroelectric power plants. We should always be grateful because we can still enjoy electrical energy. Max also wants you to save electricity. Turn off electronic devices that are not in use. Well, see you again. Hey, friends of the Electricity Museum, did you know? The new PLN 4.0 Unleashing Energy and Beyond.